Hey everybody, welcome back to X-Plane 11. I am Bill and welcome to the beautiful Bay Area. I'm going to take a little tour of one of my favorite cities. I was actually born right over here in Walnut Creek. Um, so I definitely have a soft spot for San Francisco. But the default scenery was a little bit lacking. So let's head down and I'm going to show you a must-have freeware scenery and setup. This what you're seeing right now. This is the ortho for the area. So that's, that's free. But what I'm going to show you is the Mr. X6 San Francisco uh, SFO and City version 2.01 uh, with the library in static aircraft expansion. So let's join the flight a little bit out here in the bay. We've got our little 172 circling. This is the, uh, the standard water, so that's a little bit standard. But uh, let's actually get that landing light off. How about that? Both of those guys off. So I'm going to try to stay outside of the plane as much as possible so you can get a better feel for the, the scenery itself. So first off, let's do a little flyover of SFO. Again, I have the, the ortho for this area. So there's going to be some crossover ortho and, and scenery. But if you if you do get the ortho, um, I'm on zoom level 16 for reference, um, and you should be able to replicate everything you see here at no charge, um, including the plane. I mean, this is the stock Cessna 172, so nothing you see here has been paid for. So first off, as we come up, let me. Uh, switch views here. This one's kind of a little bit easier to maneuver the camera. Uh, the textures on the, the runway and taxiways are fantastic. Contrast, uh, the saturation, just the, the textures, um, so much better. One, they're clear to read to when you're actually on the, uh, the taxiways, but just appearance-wise, they look so much crisper and and nicer. It's probably a little bit too clean uh, to look really real, but it is a major, major improvement. Okay, so now as we come here to the terminal, I might pause it here. I'm going to show you a couple of the key things that I've noticed so far. So. The airport, the, the terminal, the tower, everything looks fantastic, looks spot on. You know, the the roadways, the road network, the train, this this is really cool. The tramway is actually running, which is a really nice touch. But what really impresses me about this the scenery paired with the the static aircraft and elements library are all of the extra vehicles. Um, you know, you've got the catering cart, you've got vans, you've got uh, baggage trolleys, you've got all kinds of stuff. It just, it looks so much more full and active. Even though the planes are static, if you paired this with like, um, you know, world traffic or something where you had planes actually pulling back and doing their thing, this would look super alive. But just as it is freeware, uh, you definitely cannot go wrong with this. Um, you know, some of the ortho grass uh, in between the taxiways here definitely make it look even that much more real. But I just, I love how accurate all of the taxiway signs are, or taxiway markings, excuse me. Um, really, really nice job. And, you know, even if you're not familiar with this airport, it, it makes it just look full and real and alive. You know, you got cars moving around. Um, no airplanes moving, but it still manages to look alive despite that. Um, you've also got, you know, as part of the static airplanes, you've got, um, you know, some corporate jets, you've got some Embraers, you've got some 
Boeings, obviously. Uh, there's some 747s. Um, yeah, here's some 747s. Um, <laughs> look at this. That's cool. Airbus A380. So it definitely adds some some more static planes that you would normally not see in the uh, the standard uh, stock scenery. That is not really that good at uh, identifying airplanes, but that looks like a Airbus A319, maybe. Someone correct me on that. Um, so if we come over here to the north side of the airport, they've even fully fleshed out the cargo terminal, which is cool. Lots of uh, cargo planes coming in and out of here. So we've got, these are kind of like the uh, maintenance area. Yep, directional general, don't really need it. But here, you know, we've got some of the, the cargo terminals here, DHL, FedEx, T-10, Scissor Sweep. So that is, that's really cool. Okay, so now moving away from the airport, the 101 and all the freeway interchanges. Zoom level 16 on the ortho, and at this altitude, where are we flying at? Yeah, just under a thousand feet. So we're we're obviously very low, but um, you know, at at a thousand feet, sixteen looks okay. And just the nature of the ortho sceneries, you know, obviously there's an a three D object over it. They do look flat. So when you're this low, you don't get that three D look that you would if you were up a little bit higher, and you kind of get some of that mimicking three D effect from some of the shadows of the buildings. Got some 3D boats and docks here added. That looks really, really nice. That actually makes a huge difference seeing those 3D. Transition is a little boring bit here. But now we can kind of see the city coming into view here, the skyline. That's a nice detail on the power lines here. That looks awesome. Now there's definitely going to be a lot of this scenery pack that I haven't found yet, haven't explored fully. But I just wanted to give you kind of just like a, a little fly-by fly city tour just to show you the, the big highlights. Most of them are kind of along the, the shoreline anyway. And the first city landmark here is the old home of the 49ers and Giants, actually, and that is Candlestick Park. I think this is fully knocked down now. So it dates the scenery pack a little bit but it's still super cool to see this thing here. They even have the, the extra uh, grandstands that come out here. They'd actually be able to remove that for baseball games. But the football setup, move those things out. And for a freeware, that is not bad at all. That is really cool. Okay, so now we're smoking along the coast here. And here are some... This is a really, really nice touch. Now, any city that's got a busy port like San Francisco does, having these container ships coming in and out of here makes a huge difference, making this feel like the city's alive got the cranes, just a few cranes, not too many, but it's enough to make it look like something's going on here. Is this guy moving? I can't tell if that guy's underway or not. 
guy looks like he was kind of stuck in no man's land. So cool. They look fantastic. The textures on that look really nice. And the antenna. Look at that. That looks freaking fantastic. I think it's dangerous when it's foggy out. Really, really dangerous. So we're flying real low, so this this ortho doesn't look fantastic, but still miles better than, than the stock scenery. Down over our nose here is the Bay Bridge. They they haven't included the the new east side bay bridge. This is just kind of a flat generic bridge. The the east side bay bridge, if you haven't seen it, is fantastic. It's absolutely gorgeous. And here's the old double decker one and they actually have it split deck. No cars going eastbound, but they do have both both levels, which is fantastic attention to detail. Look at the fishing boat. I really love all these 3D boats. Oh! Almost flew right by it. AT&T Park. So this is where the Giants play, and they have done a phenomenal job on this. Look at that. AT&T Park is right there. San Francisco Giants. Man, for freeware, that is ace. <laughs> you see the uh, flattened Coke uh, sign right there. It's actually like a... a uh, metal caged bottle. This is a little little low res here, but not too bad. Is there? Man, that looks really, really good. Okay, let's, let's unpause it. I want to keep this as unpaused as possible, make it a real real tour. Fly over the Bay Bridge and now we're really starting getting into San Francisco landmarks. Again, a little bit of a mixture of the the 3D buildings and the ortho. It's a little bit, a little clunky, but really not too bad considering that both are free. I know I keep saying that, but it's an important part of it. There's the Transamerica building. That is fantastic. And now we're coming up. This is one of my favorite parts of San Francisco's Fisherman's Wharf. Look, there's Beacon Hill. That looks really nice. That is spot on. That is too cool. Little ferry boats there. Stocks. Now I, I don't recall the names of these ships, but there's they've got a submarine, a uh, battleship, uh, a couple of older sailboats. And they got it all here. Freaking cool. I mean, I, I have flown around here before prior to, to doing this flight for you guys, but not, you know, I just kind of flew around to check to see, you know, what all was here. I didn't look too closely to, to any one thing. And I am really impressed. Here's Alcatraz. set of one of my favorite movies, The Rock with Nick Cage, Michael Bay at his finest, that looks really nice. <coughs> this is a good example of, of ortho and 3D object working well together, because that looks really nice. 
Distracted by this nice scenery. A little static orbit. Look at that skyline. That is too cool. I can't believe this is free. That is insane. Such an iconic city. Definitely not without its problems currently, but no, it, which is really a shame. But it is beautiful. Gone on some runs along this waterfront from here all the way to the bridge over there. Gorgeous run along the water here. There are a bunch of cool houses just lining this street right here. Super unique. We got a fishing boat there. The Golden Gate State Park. Too much to see there, but they've definitely filled it out with trees. That looks good. Some of the tunnels coming into the the big one. This is the landmark right here. Oh my god! If you haven't gotten the opportunity to drive across drive across the Golden Gate Bridge, highly highly recommend it. It is absolutely fantastic. Got a container ship coming through here. That looks awesome. And the bridge. Golden Gate Bridge. And in the evening. Is this sim not the coolest ever? Look at that. I mean, the, the detail on that bridge is absolutely astounding. And even the traffic, they, it looks like they updated the traffic flow. They're going a little bit slower than the normal kind of manic X-plane guys. Turn over Marin County here. Too much to see there. One of the famous car commercial roads. Buzz the bridge here. Are you serious with that? That looks so good. I mean, you can get right up next to that thing and it looks so good. You maneuvering here. Like seriously, with the city in the background and the bridge there. Unbelievable job. Mr. X6, you nailed him a man. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be flying here a lot now. I mean, this this feels like a real, full, alive city. Get some pilotage going here. You could have a lot of fun flying around the Bay Area. There's a lot of cool airports out here, too. Fun places to go. We got Oakland out here. You got Napa up here, Sonoma, Santa Rosa. A bunch of cool, fun places to fly. There's a hotel that I've had 
dinner here that kind of overlooks the city. And I'm blanking on the name of it, but we might be able to spot it. It's kind of like an older looking building. So cool looking. Oh yeah, there it is right there. I think that's it right there. At least that's the area that it should be in. Yeah, some of these are kind of more generic buildings. I've seen that a few times. I mean, look at the density there. Wow. This is free. Everybody, this is a free scenery. You have to get this. And when you're on the org store, give this guy a, a review and tell him how much you love it. Because I could not imagine flying in this city without this scenery. Like, seriously, look at that. Of course, it's made that much better by the stock 172. Here's the other side of AT&T Park. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna do it. I just wanted to give you a quick little tour. Um, I just downloaded this and I just added the the ortho. I haven't done a whole lot of flying up here, really, because I didn't have the ortho set up and. I added the scenery and was just absolutely blown away and wanted to share as much of it as I could quickly. But God, what what an awesome, I mean, first of all, it's just an awesome city. So when you start with a gorgeous city, you're going to have a pretty good likelihood of having a really nice looking scenery pack, but um, this is impressive. This is really, really impressive. Thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, definitely subscribe. If you want to fly with me live, I do stream on Twitch, and that's twitch.tv slash Bill Forelli, same as the YouTube channel, B-I-L-L-4-L-E. Definitely follow there and join along. We do some pretty fun flights and... Um, Hopefully some stuff that's applicable to real world flying as well as I continue to uh, head towards my private license in real life. Um, be kind of using some of the things that I learn in real life to help with the simulator and vice versa, things that I am learning in the sim, translating that to, to real life. So um, should be a lot of fun. Definitely check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will uh, see you in the next one. Peace out, everyone. Okay, that is awesome. Wow. Peace.